welcome to a brand new episode of Undisputed Anime. This is the podcast where we like to give you some top, top, top banana recommendations. I was going to say top shelf, but I bottled it at the last minute. Could you tell? <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Um, yeah. You know, you're, you're good at your job. So, uh... <laughs> um, as always, I am Zane Taicho and I am joined by my fantastic co host, Mr. Susu Day. How are you? Good, sir. Pom bon moi. It is evening, which is mm. weird. It's weird to record a podcast this late. But you know, sometimes you forget about plans that you make with your your significant others and your family, and uh, mm. you, are, you can't record a podcast because you need to be in a place. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here here we are. Uh, here we are. The, the, the dark times. So <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, make I I. I I plowed my way through uh, the new God of War game, like top tier. You finished it, yeah, one hundred percent. Wow, like ultra, like platinum, like did it. I just wow, yeah. Honestly, couldn't have been happier with it. Interesting. Uh, now it's Pokemon, so it's kind of a now it's Pokemon season. <laughs> yeah, so uh, keep him busy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Busy nice. guy, busy guy. <laughs> um. Yeah, I I'm enjoying Pokemon. Uh, this is funny enough. I take it we've both got the different versions. I've got Scarlet, and you've got Violet. I've got Violet. Yeah, I have Violet. Yeah, so yeah, there, there we go. Oh, yeah. uh, so uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's obviously, the, gra- the graphics are a bit hit and miss, but you take the rough with the smooth. Yeah, I think that if anything, like so far, so far on my playthrough, and I'm very like not that far through yet. It's uh, mm. I've not really encountered anything other than a little bit of like stuttering when I'm like turning the camera too yeah. quick. I have not seen like not it. not encountered any glitches where people are appearing in walls or their eyeballs <laughs> are hanging out their heads. Um, you know, maybe when I get to mm. more, more populated areas, that'll start happening. But I think that if I'm every everything that I've seen just makes mm-hmm. me want to see more. I want to see the glitches in person. Yeah. I want to experience them. So. Some of the stuff I've seen on Twitter has been hilarious. Um, Absolutely. It's, it's been so good. Uh, I guess, actually, that should bring me on to a little bit of housekeeping. Um, social media, <laughs> it seems to be crazy at the moment. So oh, yeah. if <laughs> you have happened to move to, say, Hive, or no, it is Hive, yes. It is Sorry. Hive. Hive Social. Hive Social. Not Hive Energy. Not high energy. <laughs> um, make sure to check out Undisputed Anime. We have a uh, an account, a profile on Hive, so make sure to drop a follow. Uh, also, another place we've just set up shop is on Reddit. So, uh, if you're on Reddit, feel free to join our subreddit, Undisputed Anime. Uh, drop some memes. We love memes. Uh, so yeah, be sure to be part of the community. Send and memes. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a Discord server. So again, feel free to join our Discord. Uh, the, all the relevant links I mentioned will be in the description down below. Uh, CC today, you look like you're just joining <laughs> all those platforms. Well, you know, I didn't know. I was not aware that we. Uh, I, I myself have a Hive account. Mm-hmm. Uh, did not was not going to actually ask you about Hive after this podcast, but you've answered <laughs> my question for me. I am also aware that you invited me to that newly created Discord, and I mm. marked the messages as read, and because I kept, it kept coming up on my feet, and I couldn't <laughs> deal with it that day. So I'm going to join the Discord server right now so that everyone can see that I've done. Hey, that. there we go. Join. There we go. I'm there. Ah, perfect. Nice. nice. Um, long, may so, yeah. rain, long may I reign, <laughs> king of the discourse. <laughs> um. Now, before we get on with the rest of the news, I'd like to say a big thank you to this episode sponsor, Surfshark VPN, which you can get eighty three percent off and three months free. If you go to surfshark.deals slash undisputed anime and enter in the promo code undisputed anime, all one word. 
Surfshark VPN lets you trick your device into thinking it's in a different country, which opens up a whole world of content libraries. If you're in the UK, you could watch Japan Netflix, which will give you a far bigger selection of animes. If you're outside the UK, you could watch BBC iPlayer. And if you're in the US, you can finally get access back to the old WWE network. We've all been using Surfshark here at Undisputed Anime for a while, and it's our official VPN. And it doesn't just give you access to all the enemies, it also secures your networks by encrypting internet traffic, keeping your location and download history private. Like my collection of shoujo mangas, which must be protected at all costs. My favourite feature for this is that Surfshark knows when my phone leaves a trusted connection, like my home or work internet, and it immediately turns on to prevent this interference. It's like having a JoJo stand for your phone. To sign up to Surfshark today, by using our link in the video description below, surfshark.deals slash undisputedanime, which you can get 83% off and three months free if you go to surfshark.deals slash undisputedanime and enter in the promo code undisputedanime. We really appreciate it if you at least check them out as they've been great company and we love working with them. Support Undisputed Anime and support your internet privacy with Surfshark. Fantastic. So yeah, as I mentioned, all relevant links will be in the description down below. Uh, they'll also be on our website as well, undisputedanime.com. Today's episode Ooh. is a biggie. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I see, you know, something, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, it's, it's an interesting topic because I'm sure that there are things that we'll talk about today that mm. some people may agree with, some may not. Um, but you know, we're talking about standalone anime movie titles, aren't we? Mm, so, yeah. and it's a big, it's, you know, there's a lot. Um, I've, I mean, I've listed my, my favorites, um, which isn't a huge number. Mm. Um, I'm hoping that our lists are completely different. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be interesting. Uh, out of interest, how many have you got? I've got three, but okay. I've got a couple more. Because I, I kind of didn't want to do the very obvious thing of like saying a Ghibli title. Mm. Yeah. Because same. I'm like, well, that's like, I know that they're, they're obviously standalone movies, but they're obviously mm. very iconic, very well known. So I wanted to try and talk about some things that, you know, within the community might be more, they, they, they obviously might be known in the community. Um, some of mm -hmm. them might be very popular in the community, but, you know, um, you know, that are less known outside of like those who partake in anime and other such yeah. things yeah so. yeah definitely i i've tried to do a similar thing as well i try to stay away from ghibli or any sort of movie that belongs to a franchise ip and what i yeah. mean by that is like my hero or a naruto sort of yeah you know, one piece red <laughs> yeah because i suppose <laughs> that they are they are technically like standalone but it's like they mm. are associated with like a series and it's kind of like yeah, yeah it's like you you want to i i want it i wanted to talk about anime that anime movies that are kind of set apart that that's mm -hmm. all there is of them it is that story start to finish there is no speculation as to <laughs> how yeah. that affects the main canon it is just you know that's how it was it's a great idea great idea um did you want to start things off uh, yeah, I'm going to start one off with a uh, one that I really liked, one that you didn't like at all. Oh, <laughs> um, I think I know what this is. Go on. It's a delightful movie known as Origin Spirits of the Past. <laughs> now, I really like this movie, but I believe that this movie made you literally <laughs> feel like you were going to vomit. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, I found it. Here we go. Um... Yeah, so it's a uh, you know it's it's basically a post-apocalyptic story um, mm. set on Earth where basically the Earth has been completely overrun with like a sentient forest, um, and humanity is just kind of trying to live 
they're just trying to like get by and survive now um mm-hmm. and one day the main uh character um akito i think it's akito yeah uh oh akito uh he um he's exploring and he stumbles upon like this uh old fallen out cave he enters it and he finds out that it's actually filled with all of these like strange like mechanical like pods which as a viewer you're like those are cryopods <laughs> and he like goes down and you find out that like all of these cryopods are broken, the people inside them are dead, like they're skeletons and stuff. Um, but then you he finds one which is working mm-hmm. and it has the he- the um the female protagonist in it, um, Tula. Um and she's fr- obviously from a time before the forest was a thing. Uh in fact she was obviously put into cryostasis because of the disaster that happened that caused the forests. Yeah. Um I know, and I, I just, I, I really, I, I love a post-apocalyptic story. I, I love a story of like, <laughs> of like humanity has been wrecked, yeah. <laughs> like, and you know what the remnants are surviving. Um, the other reason I really like it is because there is a, a lot of. I think that it's got it kind of gets to this point where it's like humanity has gone so regressed so far back that there's now like this kind of like feeling of like magic to it. Like there are mm. these um there are certain people among them who have kind of like formed like a pact with like the beings of the forest and it kind of gives them like super strength and the ability to, you know, better work the land and stuff. Um, yeah. But like they're they're generally fearful of these like kind of sage like creatures that like live in the forest, which are like creepy as well. Um, there's a lot of like there's betrayals, there's like twists and turns. You meet characters who are linked to what happens. It's it's I don't I I think that this is one of those sorts of like episodes where I don't really want to go into too much like mm. too much about the plot because i think that whether you like it or hate like it or don't like it i think it's it's worth a watch um especially if you like the sorts of stories about you know a world after our world yeah absolutely um just having a look here i, I can't believe it's 2006 this came out yes yeah. so long ago um yeah great first choice one that probably doesn't get talked about an awful lot as well, considering it's, you know, some of these other movies might be a little bit older and stuff, but like a Ghibli movie, for example. But um, yeah, great movie. I'm pretty sure it had some great animation as well. Um, At the time, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I guess for me, I'm not a big plant guy. Um, and this is all about plants and <laughs> forest I, uh, I the forest is know. alive but it's not just alive <laughs> it is out to kill you if you wander too yeah. far from yourself <laughs> so this is it yeah so um yeah I, I think that's that's what put me off initially i'm happy to give this another watch um and looking at this apparently it's on crunchyroll as well so i'm happy to give it another watch um you know a couple of years later so yeah you see, if you, see if you see if you can do it i'd love for you to actually go back and have a different opinion of it obviously mm. if you don't have a different opinion that's fine everyone's entitled to their own opinions even if they're wrong <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true um yeah well uh so what have i you guess got? I'll jump into my choice. Uh, this is a film from 2009. Um, possibly, it's no secret, one of my favorite directors in the game. Uh, and this is just a sensational movie called Summer Wars. Summer um, Wars, of course. Summer Wars is a, a movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> with the runtime of one hour 54 studio behind this was madhouse so hugely popular um studio great animation beautiful animation some here's the thing and this is where i think a lot of the confusion comes from the style of this movie is very 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 close to the digimon movie and the reason for that is because it's the same director um 
Hosoda Sensei uh, directs not only this movie, but of course the Digimon movie, and recently Bell, the other sort of cybernetic um, oh. movie that came out not too long ago. Uh, actually, maybe the beginning of the year. Fantastic movie. Uh, this is about a mass genius who solves a puzzle on his phone and without realizing had released an AI onto this type of s server or, you know, sort of like social media slash think of like the metaverse, but on a sort of discord, I guess, but it has the same elements of the Digimon movie you know, Digimon movie had a virus. This has like an AI that causes chaos that affects the real world. Yeah. Like the first, like the first arc of the Digimon movie. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's down to this guy and it, due to circumstances, this girl that he is with her family are trying their best to stop um, this AI as well as, all the other sort of real world events that take place. Um, and that could be anything from uh, traffic lights going crazy to, you know, emergency call outs to elderly people and stuff. Um, it's, it's a really, I guess like it's a great sort of story in terms of like family and working together and believing in each other and stuff like that. But it's, um, the tension building is always great with these movies because they always end with a timer. It's down to the, you know, the wire in a final fight online that everyone seems to be watching around the world. Um, yeah. I love those elements. Yeah. I'm, I'm really getting big Digimon the movie vibes and <laughs> people may know, may or may not know we on undisputed anime podcast love the Digimon movie. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely, it's a top five movie. <laughs> top five. easily, easily. Top five. <laughs> so good, such an amazing soundtrack. Can't go wrong. Even dubbed, incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Whew. Good choice. Good choice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what is up next for you, my friend? So, I hesitate. I hesitated to do this one next because this is actually like my favorite one. But I'm concerned oh. that I'm concerned it might also fall on your list, maybe. So I'm okay. going to read it now so I, I get in there first. <laughs> <laughs> um, my second choice here is Paprika. Okay, yeah. Paprika being an absolute spectacle, a marvel to watch. It's mm. basically, as we, d we discussed the other week, it's basically... Inception before Inception. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, basically, the story of uh, uh, the story of uh, um, a mysterious. Um, so there's been a string of like murders happening, dream terrorism, um, and the introduction of this character known as Paprika, who you find out is actually just like kind of an a dream persona of the actual main character um but she's like complete polar opposites from the main character who's very straight edged um but i i don't i i really don't know what to say about it because it is such a trip to watch it yeah. is beautifully animated the story despite being so bonkers is so coherent mm. And like the idea of like combining these elements of like m like terrorism and like murder with like this really, I mean, looking at the banner here, you can see like all the stuff going on there. It's like the idea of like the dream world spilling out into reality. It's really such a cool like experience, and I would recommend this movie to anyone to watch. In fact. I'm gonna go and watch it tonight. <laughs> gonna go and watch it tonight. I love this movie Pokemon. so much. I love this movie so much. It's so good. Yeah, it's been a good couple of years since I've seen it. Um, but it, it's just one of those back in well, this movie came out in 2006. So anywhere around that time that you managed to find this in a DVD bin, it was just 
a golden goose of a find. Like it was yeah. incredible. Um, I've just seen this on the page, actually. Let me just share this quickly. Uh, the film received an early premiere at the 63rd Venice International Film Festival on September 2nd, 2006. Yeah, it, uh, it was nominated uh, nominated for the Golden Lion Best Film. Wow. Um, it also, it won, it's, it's obviously like a critically acclaimed movie. It, um, it won the Public's Choice Award at the Montreal Festival of New Cinema. Um, oh, damn. It's, it's won uh, a couple of Best Animation Awards, um, and it was nominated for others. It's obviously, and that was over the course of a year that it was released, so... Um, and apparently, there was a live action in development. Um, no way. In 2009. Um, but there's not been any significant update as to whether it will be produced. Uh, however, yeah. breaking news, uh, in August 2022, it was reported that Kathy Yan would direct and executive produce a live action television adaptation for Amazon. Oh, Amazon looking for that anime money. Hello. Yes. So yes, watch it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you'll love it. And if you don't love it, you'll at least come away questioning everything you know about dreams. I like that. That's cool. Um, great choice. Absolutely. On to you. On to me. Um, surprisingly, not on my list, Paprika. Um, even though that is a, a solid choice and a great movie recommendation there. Uh, my next choice is, without any sort of real introduction, uh, The Boy and the Beast. Uh, I have not seen this. Really fun movie. Um it's easy to say it's a retelling or a reimagination of Jungle Book. Um, okay. So, you know, a little boy who's lost but found in, like, this sort of spiritual beast world. Um, really fun. Again, I don't want to say too much, but it is amazing. It, the, the one thing I really love is the relationship between the boy and the beast. Uh, so trying to think of their names uh so yeah the beast's name is Komo Kumatetsu. Tetsu. um really fun it, it kind of has that harken sort of relationship of he's kind of like well you need to fight everyone anyone who's mean to you you pick up your fists and you you know that kind of mentality um so yeah it, it it's kind of like a, a dad with a big heart but probably gives the wrong message do you know what I mean? Well, like Baloo. Like, Baloo yeah, is just like, hey, you don't need to worry about anything. Just <laughs> chill out. <laughs> and maybe that's not what you need to hear when you're being um, pursued by a tiger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or have major life decisions about being like a man and leaving yeah. behind the man world. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really fun. I've always enjoy this movie i i always recommend it again something that came out fairly recently so 2015 so it has like really great animation to this day uh the dub is really good as well and yeah i i'm pretty sure you could probably find this on most streaming platforms now by the looks of things so um yeah i i would definitely recommend this movie uh for anyone who just looking for something to watch over a weekend yeah, it looks like it's uh, looks like something I'm going to need to add to my list. Um, absolutely, I love how on the nose the the, the bear's name is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's that's very I very very much like that. Um, I've got some time off next week. Maybe I'll watch it then. Ah, <laughs> nice, mm, yeah. nice, nice. So, any closing notes on that movie? Any closing notes? Um, no surprise, it's the same director as my last movie choice. So you might spot a theme. 
well, you know, like if 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 someone does something well, why not continue to <laughs> like their stuff? Yeah. So uh, yeah, very enjoyable. I'm gonna give it a watch, and I will tell you what I think. Mm, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. Yeah. It looks like I love Jungle Book. I, I love the story of the Jungle Book, and I love retellings of classical, like of stories that you already know. So, yeah, me too. Yeah, or with, with a slightly different like perspective yeah, on things, you know. Absolutely. Like it's uh, you know, it's always fun to see it to hear a, a, a stale story retold in a new, exciting way. So definitely, definitely. What is next up on your list, my friend? So. Another classic for me, at least, is the uh, the girl who leapt through time. Okay, yeah, I love this movie so much. It's such a it's such a great story of um, it's a great story of youth, mm -hmm. of, of the brashness and like kind of carefree nature of youth. Um, you know, the main character um, she basically ends up unknowingly finding uh, like and with the power to travel through time though she doesn't fully understand it and as you would as a yeah. child uh, as like a child you would use it for the things that you want to use it on and she uses it to kind of read like redo things that she makes mistakes in she uses it very carelessly very selfishly mm -hmm. but then it all starts to kind of add up and as a result of her actions people in her life end up getting really hurt and she's then having to kind of like face all of this and realizing that actually what I what I'm doing isn't the right way to use this power and she also finds out that this is not she she doesn't realize this until it's too late that this is not something that she can use endlessly this is something that has a, a limit uh, wow and obviously that knowledge doesn't come to her until it's too late. So it's right. kind of, I think it's a, it's a great, I wouldn't say it's like a coming of age story, but it's a, it's a great story about like kind of the arrogance of being like young. And I yeah. think that while not, while few of us can probably profess to being able to have traveled through time at any point in our <laughs> lives, except forward. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's very easy to put yourselves in the shoes of the protagonist because you're kind of like, well, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I would have done. With yeah, the yeah. Time. Like you wake up, you wake up, you go to school, you end up making a fool of yourself, tripping over in front of someone you like. Go, you go back through time, and make sure that redo. doesn't happen. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. You, you fail a test, go back and redo the test and stuff, like all that sort of thing. So. uh I definitely recommend it. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely. Uh, it is considered to be a um, a love story, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, to some degree, I, I wouldn't say necessarily it's completely that, but there are elements of that. It's a very slice of life, and right. as you would imagine, with a slice of life high school anime <laughs> title of any kind, there's obviously going to be some sort of romance. That's just how it works. That's true. That is very true. Um. Real great pick. Another 2006. Uh, <laughs> they were hitting the nail on the heads. <laughs> like that, that was a good. It was a good, good period for uh, yeah. Independent titles Absolutely. like this. Also, did you see who directed this movie? Nope. Oh my <laughs> gosh! It's only bloody and so oh, sens <laughs> sensei himself wow i uh, i'm so grateful to you <laughs> so grateful to you sensei uh the man's got talent i haven't actually seen this um i i remember once uh someone we both know went to put this on after a m heavy night of drinking the day before so i i just being hungover is what I'm trying to say. Probably weren't in the space to watch this about time travel and stuff. I think so. if if the person you're talking about is the person I think it is, I actually mm. own his copy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to borrow it, I would be happy yeah. to lend it to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, apparently, this is on Crunchyroll as well. So um, 
know how you got to make use of that Surfshark VPN because mm. uh, because uh, don't got nice. none of that on UK Crunchyroll, unfortunately. Ah, okay. I have been double checking every time. You're like, go and check it on Crunchyroll. It's not not for me. Not, not on the UK, UK one. <laughs> not on UK Crunchyroll. You got to be using that good v- good good VPN to mm, that Surfshark VPN. Links in description. Uh, <laughs> we got your back. Don't worry. Uh, what are we up to now? How many have you chosen? Three? I've done three. Okay. Three. That's, that's how my fingers look when it's free. Not that. <laughs> you can't. That's not free. Uh, okay. So my next pick is uh, a very recent movie that came out uh it is called now this looks like a long title when the english translation is words bubble up like soda pop and this is one of the sort of like netflix original uh anime movies that we've been slowly getting released by um Netflix. Oh, I thought I thought this was in <laughs> Colorado, uh, but it's not. But either way, uh, one of Netflix's uh, original anime movies that have been coming out. This movie is fantastic. The color palette alone is sensational. It's just so gorgeous. Yeah, it looks and amazing. Really good. It's a bit of a slow movie because it's all. T- sort of character driven not to say most movies aren't but this is a very like character breakdown and you know understanding their motives and everything and then they kind of push through so kind of like a slice of life like you mentioned before because this all takes place over a summer period um but what's really um interesting about this this dynamic i should say follows two characters uh, a boy and a girl the girl character has um has this really big social media following um i think her name's cherry off the top of my head uh no sorry her her name's smile um so ironically she is really self-conscious about her teeth um so she has you know slightly larger teeth is the whole idea and because she's you know got this huge social media following most of the time she wears a face mask and does like dances and stuff and all this other things whereas um the main character cherry he almost has like a i don't know if it is like um oh what am i thinking of uh like social anxieties or like um, okay is on the spectrum or something along those lines but his his whole thing because he walks around with headphones almost like he has um oh, i'm trying to think of the condition um he just gets like uh, yeah he gets overwhelmed with like um crowded stimulated yeah yeah so uh, he's very kind of like stuck to his headphones and he always has them on when he's in crowded places and things of that nature and what he does a lot of the time is creates hakus so like they're like poetry oh uh, yeah hakus, yes Love uh, it's amazing and he he has like this thing on twitter where he'll constantly just tweet out his um haikus uh so but there's like not really like a following on there or anything it's only for his own sort of like if he thinks of something he'll put a tweet out if you know what i mean yeah Um, it's so good like it's just amazing story uh again about both of them overcoming their self-consciousness and again their character development um came out in 2021 so again very very recent an hour and 27 minutes long so good absolutely fantastic very accessible as well it looks like Mm. because uh netflix is obviously everywhere (laughs) absolutely absolutely a fantastic body of work highly recommend giving it a watch i'm definitely gonna go you've given me some things to think about because uh you know i think the standalone titles are often harder to come by 
at least when we were at least when we were growing up like you had to like purposely like buy a dvd without mm -hmm. knowing if you were going to enjoy it so yeah. i didn't watch a lot of standalones when i was growing up uh, and it's only been like my more in my later years which i've actually started doing it it's obviously much easier to kind of partake in it like the the things that i've mentioned today like paprika the girl who left mm -hmm. her time those are things that came to me um from other people yeah um things like origin is something that i actually went out and bought myself for, mm -hmm. and so it was kind of that and i remember that feeling like it was either going to be a hit or miss i just yeah. wanted to consume some more anime so i bought it uh with what a little money i had <laughs> so <laughs> yeah definitely i i guess like in this day and age as well um we're so accustomed to sticking to ips as well because we we've already either a invested in it or b we know we expect a certain level from it already so again if if that is our my hero academia movies or sort of online or even the quint quintessential quintuplets movie you know yeah. we know what we're gonna bite into and they could be like what an hour long movie or maybe even two hours yeah where with these particular movies i think maybe people are less inclined to, to to watch them because they may not know you know what i mean at two hours to to discover something in this day and age it sounds like a big sacrifice compared yeah. to anything off the back of you know what i mean considering we we get in spin-offs off star wars and and uh, you know things of that like as well i hope i kind of <laughs> explain that well enough <laughs> no 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 i completely get what you're saying it's, it, like it's it's and you're completely right it's uh media's changed a lot and how we consume mm. it it's kind of like so a lot of people like i i joke about this all, to, all the time because it makes me sound like an old man when i say it but it's like kids of the generation younger than us even mm -hmm. our own generation it's starting to become a thing where they can't consume long form media anymore because yeah. for think because of things like tiktok and youtube it's all very short form content that you can digest like in the space of like a lunch break in the space of like tiktok is obviously like you spend 30 seconds of your time and it's just like content 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 so yeah as a result of that like when i'm like hey do you want to watch a movie to my daughter she's uh she's like well no i don't really want to do that so she she hates watching movies and i think mm. it's because she's just so used to just getting content so quick like so fast that she yeah. can't sit through something that long anymore yeah no so, uh, I, I definitely know what you mean yeah we're we're more inclined to watch a tv show than a movie now um and again, even if it is, we're going to watch two episodes back to back. Maybe we had no intention of doing that to start with, yeah. but if if we're hooked in that deeply, then we'll stick around for two episodes, which isn't fair again to like a movie runtime. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky scenario. But I'm hoping that episodes like this will really help people discover some good movies especially considering um now and this is obviously something that um we learned when we went to see one piece red is uh um cinemas at least in the uk are starting to become more starting to become aware of that there is a following for uh people who want to see these sorts of movies in the cinema and usually obviously mm. you know we get like the spin-off movies for things like my hero academia one piece uh you know things like that uh, showing up you expect those to show up but like we actually saw a trailer for uh suzume no tojimari didn't we uh yeah. while we were watching one piece red and i'm really looking forward to it and i'm i'm gonna go and see it in the cinema when it comes out because it looks incredible and yes it's obviously it's obviously um made by the same folk who did uh your name so mm -hmm. obviously it's gonna it's gonna be amazing <laughs> so <laughs> and who doesn't love an anthropomorphic tiny chair <laughs> <laughs> it's only got three legs not four it's only yeah. got three legs yeah is he a stool then no he's got a back so he can't be a stool. <laughs> <laughs> he's not classed as a stool no um what's up next on your list i actually don't have anything else on my list um it's really more like kind of honorable mentions and when yeah. i say honorable mentions it's kind of the things that i try to avoid putting on my main list okay 
So if you've got anything else on your list, we can obviously like run through some like honorable mentions afterwards. Uh, I'll, I'll, let's call this honorable mentions. I'll, I'll kind of whip through uh, these honorable mentions as well. Uh, okay. So I on my list, let me just. Uh, bum, 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 he says. we go uh this one literally something i watched in the last 48 hours uh a movie called drifting home uh again a netflix original movie uh this one was by studio colorado uh oh so much heart in this movie i can't tell you um how do i explain this it's the whole premise is kind of like <laughs> it's like a weird combination of Howl's Moving Cat. Uh, no, sorry, it's the weird combination of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, and no, sorry, World's End meets uh, something else I can't think of right now. But it's <laughs> the whole idea is that this tower block uh, of apartments where these two kids grew up in. Um, they get isekai'd and their tower block gets isekai'd to this like water world um it's the only way i could describe it because it is sailing uh endlessly the the tower block the the, the old apartment and um the, the whole sort of message behind it is about grief and letting go and all this other stuff that honestly sounds wild like you said, you compared it to a Pirates of the Caribbean movie <laughs> where two boys and their apartment building get isekai to a water world. That's, that's a sentence I never in my life thought I'd ever hear. It, 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 the reason I, I say that is because, um, you know, in World's End, where they go looking for Jack Sparrow and they yeah. end up uh in the locker and you know they see all these souls like at sea and 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 everything else and there's no sort of like movement of the boat itself it's just endlessly drifting through empty water yeah it, you get that same vibe like oh, okay. it's a, a weird spiritual place but it's also just endless water and they have like no food or <laughs> anything well, along those lines fantastic <laughs> mm, yeah exactly um but yeah a great great movie by netflix as well fantastic uh speaking of movies by netflix now might you might might be surprised to hear me say this this is why it's on an honorable mention list um bubble oh yeah yeah i think the bubble's worth a watch we obviously did a whole episode uh about it um mm -hmm. and while i while I didn't wasn't the biggest fan of how the story flows, mm -hmm. you can't deny that it was a wonderful watch. Like it was so yeah. wonderfully animated, super impressive movie, very yeah. impressive. Um, but yeah, honestly, like I mean, at this point, I'm kind of just uh, I'm kind of just like reeling out like. And reeling out like names of the things I didn't want to like talk about. Like, <laughs> obviously, honorable mention standalone movies, any Ghibli title, like Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind, Laputa Castle in the Sky, The Cat Returns. Yes. Um, Porco so Rosso. Many... Porco Rosso, absolutely. So much good stuff. You got like the very obvious things like your name, um mm. uh silent like voice, um, weathering with you, like yeah. five centimeters per second, like all these amazing standalone films that deserve uh, deserve a watch. And a lot of them are very critically acclaimed, and will, a lot of you will have watched them. Some of you yeah. might not have. If you haven't go down and watch them like there's a lot of a lot of good anime that isn't just tied to like series yeah absolutely um one last honorable mention from me red line uh if you like ridiculously insane animation <laughs> like a trigger movie uh like st like studio trigger check out red line 
<laughs> well, uh, it, it looks insane. When you said red line, I was like, is this a, a one piece thing? The animation looks like I'm just looking at the icons for the cat for like the characters. Um, mm. Looks absolutely like beautifully stylized. Yeah, it's it is gorgeous. It I'm really surprised it's not trigger just because of the the sheer design and like art theme throughout. Uh, yeah, so dynamic. Yeah, super dynamic. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, done by Madhouse Studios. 2009, this came out as well. Uh, but it's aged beautifully well. It honestly looks fantastic. I might also give that a watch. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing added to the list that gets only bigger. Add it to the list. Add it to the... I... I... I, I, I am a very adamant fan of anime. I love it. I love anime. Mm. I love manga. But I think that for me, anime is basically like video games for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the, like, I just keep getting a list that's getting bigger and bigger, and I just do not ever get around to, <laughs> to watching it. <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah. That, that's true. Um, <laughs> so for those who don't know my video game list is disgusting like god of war one is on there and i've only put two hours of playtime into it <laughs> before you picked up another game <laughs> until i went to like Warzone or something ridiculous <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah um so it's a bit like that for me it's like i'm like I, you'll hear me on these episodes like yeah i'm absolutely gonna watch that and i go i leave the episode with the intent of doing it and mm -hmm. then i get distracted by like video games or you know watching stuff other stuff with my wife or you know <laughs> D, D. it's like there's always other things in my life it's like I, I i need to find a dedicated spot to fit in yeah. maybe i'll maybe i'll make it like i've got to do it once a week uh in in just some uh, content that you're telling everyone i'm gonna watch <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh it's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea um yeah I, I think just start with a couple of episodes and just build up that habit if you are struggling to stick with things. There's so much good things to watch at the moment. Um, yeah. So I, we're really spoiled for choice, I would say. So take it at your own time. They're not going to disappear overnight, but it's fun to be part of the conversation when things like Blue Lock, Chainsaw Man, um, I saw the latest episode of My Hero Academia today. Ooh. I'm this close to starting Blue Lock. <laughs> I have no interest in football, but you were the one who recommended I watch Free, and I mm. love Free. And now you're yeah. like raving about Blue Lock and how much it, how good it is. I'm like, he's gonna be right. He's gonna it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> And I'm going to end up having all this knowledge about football that I never wanted. It, I know. Yeah. It's, uh, I saw, I think it was on Reddit. Someone said something similar. They, they were like, I had no intention of liking football, but this anime has lit something inside me. Uh, My football loving ancestors are going <laughs> to be rolling in their graves if they find out that the only reason I understand the rules of the, the great game is... Mm is through anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all I can say is episode seven was absolutely sent. Oh, just amazing episode on its own merit. So, uh, yeah, sensational as future would say, but I guess that's been our list of original anime movies to watch. Yeah. Nice clean episode. Yes. Mm, fantastic. Uh, let us know if we've missed anything. Is there any other movies you think are worth a watch? Let us know. Uh, you can do so by leaving a comment down below. If you don't know what to put, just pop an emoji in there. Helps us out in a big, bad way. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform, Thank you for listening. Leave us a star rating. Helps us out in a big, bad way also. And uh, yeah, any final words from you, Mr. Susu Day? Follow us on Hive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting so good at this.
yeah, well, you know, I've been in the game for a little while now. Um, <laughs> Seasonal vent. Bet. Undisputed anime podcast on Hive. I believe that is... <laughs> that is at Undisputed Anime, just like it is on Twitter. And you can also mm. find me at Susu Day on High Social. There he is. Um, yeah. Join our Discord again. Feel free to, to jump in, give us some recommendations. And um, yeah, we shall catch you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Jojo Stone Ocean. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>